just go through this? Didn't we just have to lose a dog named Major and then they, they replaced Major with the puppy named Commander? Commander's a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Commander's bitten 24 people. And actually, before you laugh, it's actually serious. This is a G German shepherd. And the German shepherd was getting in the way of Secret Service just being able to do their job. I mean, it's so bad that at one point they had to close down the East Wing because there was blood everywhere. Unbelievable story. Here's a clip. CNN did some reporting on this. I want you to take a peek. The Biden family's German Shepherd commander has been involved in at least 24 biting incidents involving the U.S. Secret Service, according to newly obtained documents obtained by CNN. CNN senior White House producer Betsy Klein joins us now in her lead debut. And Betsy, some incidents with commander had been previously reported, but these records paint a picture of a of a much larger issue, really. That's right, Jake. You'll remember CNN reported in the fall that the president's German Shepherd commander was involved in dozens of biting incidents that was White House personnel, members of Secret Service, residents, staff, and others. And it became such a problem that the first family eventually had to send the dog to live with other family members. And after that, my colleague Camilla, Camilla DeShalas sent a Freedom of Information request to the Secret Service to really better understand what was going on here. And today we got back hundreds of documents detailing the nature of the bites over a full year. And there were at least 24 specific incidents with the Secret Service. And I want to read you this email from an unnamed assistant, assistant special agent in charge to his team on the Presidential Protective Division. Now, these are the agents that most closely protect the president and his family. He says, the recent dog bites have challenged us to adjust our operational tactics when commander is present. Please give lots of room. He added that agents must be creative to ensure Crazy. our own personal safety. So, Betsy, did the White House send commander to live with family immediately after this? Well, no, Jake. I mean, Commander actually remained at the White House for more than three months after this email was sent, and there were multiple incidents in that time. And exactly one month after that email, an agent working at the Biden's Rehoboth Beach, Delaware home was bit in the backyard as he walked to his post. And a report we got from that incident said that it caused a severe, deep, open wound, that the agent started to lose a significant amount of blood. That agent was treated by the White House medical unit, got six stitches. And we learned that more than 10 of these total incidents required medical treatment. What is wrong with these people? Seriously, what is wrong with the Bidens? Why would you keep a dog that has bitten so many people so severely? Are you that entitled? I'm sorry. You know what? I love dogs. I have a wonderful dog. Some of you have met Fluffy. I have a fantastic dog. My dog is a Maltese. So Fluffy's not doing any damage, okay? <laughs> Let's just be clear. But if Fluffy were a big, giant major or commander like these German shepherds and I hadn't ever trained him, and then the dog was out there biting people, you think that I'm going to keep that dog? And knowing that the danger that that dog presents to other human beings? And Joe keeps the dog! I got to say, like, it, at some point, it, it tells you something about him, right? Like, that is a reflection on his character, because this is not the first time, ladies and gentlemen, Major had to get sent away because Major was biting everybody. So then they go out and get a new puppy, and now this puppy grows up and is biting everyone some more, and they keep the thing right there on the property, endangering the Secret Service agents, and by the way, frankly, just endangering the country. You're endangering the country, by the way, Joe Biden, by the fact that you have such significant, obvious, I know I'm not a doctor, but it's getting pretty obvious, mental decline. That's bad enough. But also think about if, if, if Secret Service can't protect the president because they're afraid of his dog, and heck, I'd be, then we don't really have a fully in command, commander in chief. But I'm, I mean, we, he's not fully in command anyway, right? We, we know that. We know that. I mean, look, I, I'm just telling you, there's, there's a lot of problems there in this administration. A lot of problems. And policy is one of the top ones. I mean, for goodness sakes, he's out there pushing those student loans again. You think that's fair? I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair one bit. And he still hasn't come up with a budget. We've got a state of the union that he already postponed. 
Let's see if he makes it till March for the State of the Union. I sat down with Kurt Couchman from Americans for Prosperity. He's a budget guru. He loves budgets. So anyway, we just spoke just a couple moments ago, actually, maybe a couple hours ago. And, and I asked him to weigh in on this whole thing with the president and these darn handouts that he wants to give. I mean, money that we just don't have, ladies and gentlemen. I, I want you to take a look at this. And then, and then, we got to talk about the shoes. Yeah, Joe Biden's going to wear sneakers now all the time because he can't get around his dress shoes. <laughs> 